In this video we're going to show you how to connect a pan tilt zoom camera to a PTZ joystick controller. We have the setup wired with a cable from the pan tilt zoom camera and its RS-485 outputs connected to the controller. The setup applies to any PTZ camera and joystick controller combination. Here we've chosen to use DC terminals to make the job easier with a DC male pigtail connected to the RS-485 outputs from the PTZ cable connecting to a female DC pigtail that's in turn connected to the RS-485 outputs from the Pantel Zoom joystick controller. When setting up your PTZ to a joystick controller you have to remember there are mainly two types of connections that come into play to make sure this is done properly. One is the hardwired connection and the other is the software settings inside your joystick controller. First you want to identify the positive and negative leads for the RS-485 connection coming out of your pan tilt zoom. In this case we've connected it to a DC terminal which is in turn connected to a DC pigtail that is connected to a RS-232 output into our pan tilt zoom controller. A is positive and B is negative on our pan tilt zoom controller. And on the pigtail, the red is positive and black is negative. These are center positive pigtails. So that's why you have to make sure that you use the right type of DC terminals for this. So we connect our two terminals back together. You'll notice that one is a male and the other is a female terminal. Make sure you use the correct leads for positive and negative as this is extremely important. There should be a label on the camera's pigtail telling you which lead is positive and which is negative. You don't even need these DC pigtails and terminals we've shown here. You can take the positive and negative leads and plug them directly into the pan tilt zoom controller. A lot of times users fail to realize that their wire going into the controller is not sitting properly into the DC terminal block or even the DC terminal block that's the green in color that you see over there it's not even properly seated into the pan tilt zoom controller. Make sure that these hardwired connections are secure. This sort of tabletop setup and testing of a pan tilt zoom is suggested if you have trouble with your pan tilt zoom camera and you're unable to narrow down what's the problem. This is the best way to check and make sure that the pan tilt zoom camera you have and the joystick are properly configured and they both work. You need to determine the baud rate, protocol, and ID of your pan tilt zoom camera so you can program it into the controller. This is usually displayed on a pan tilt zoom camera when you turn it on and it will display it on the on-screen display menu when the camera is booting up. Let's take a closer look at the pan tilt zoom joystick controller. In our case we will be configuring a pan tilt zoom camera with a configuration setting as follows. An ID of 1, a protocol of Pelco D, and a baud rate of 2400. Once you've powered on your pan tilt zoom controller and you turn it on, the LED display will tell you its current settings. In this case, ours is showing a cam ID of 1 or 001, which is the same, a monitor ID of 001, protocol of Pelco D, and a baud rate of 4800. Now, our camera is set on a baud rate of 2400, and I'm going to show you how to change that. First, you press the set button for five seconds. The configuration menu will then pop up. You can scroll through this menu by either just pressing buttons for one, in this case for protocol setup, and then here it's giving us options for baud rate setup or protocol type. I'm going to go into baud rate setup by pressing one, and correct. Currently it's on 4800, I want to change it to 2400, I'm going to press 2 on that. And it says success, meaning that it took my settings. Now I can go into protocol type and change that as well. Currently it's set to Pelco D, that's what we want. This controller also supports Pelco P, which is a very common protocol. I'm going to leave it at Pelco D by pressing 1, and here you see it says success. I will exit the menu by pressing 3. Now we exit the menu, you can use the joystick on the right hand side or you can press 4 to exit the menu. Now we look back at the LED display on the pan tilt zoom controller and we see that it has now cam IDs 1, Pelco D for the protocol and the baud rate has been changed to 2400. Now let's see if we can make the camera move. 
So here's our setup. We have the PTZ camera on the right controller here and all of this is connected together and the camera is outputting to our monitor. Now let's see if we can make this move. First thing I do is type in the camera ID which is 001. You always want to type it as three digits. So I type in 001 and then hit the cam button. That's very important to do. Once that's done, now I can actually use a joystick and here we see our Pantel zoom camera moving. I can, I'm just spinning it around to give it a test run to make sure that my configuration settings actually applied. Our Pantel zoom controller also has a dial that lets you zoom in and out and this is called the 3-axis controller. This camera which only has about a 10x zoom you can see that it's pretty significant. We hope you find this video useful in helping you connect your Pantel zoom camera and its controller together. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook. Thank you for watching.